And we're live. Welcome back for another stream, everyone. Big one today. We're going for the two-hour stream. We've got loads of content prepared for this one. Loads to chat about today. So welcome to the stream. How are you today, first of all? And what are your Friday plans? Are you guys staying in watching the game tonight? Are you heading out later? What's the crack? I think I'm going to stay in and watch the game, but I'm going to be maybe watching it behind the sofa. I don't know, because I've sold two Tottenham players in my team this week, so I'm a bit nervous for that. Uh, I have made two moves already. I made my moves last night because uh, Saka was going up in price. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about that first. I sold Pori for Simicass and I sold Madison for Saka. There's definite potential for those two moves to go wrong, but it does feel like a couple of moves that are good long-term moves. Feels like moves that are keeping pace with the wildcarders. I think pretty much everyone who's on a game week 10 wildcard uh, will have Simicass and Saka. So uh, I've made those two moves. So that's the plan. I think it makes sense. And looking at game week 11 as well, I preferred Simicass to Gabriel. It was close, but Gabriel's got Newcastle away. Uh, game week 11, so that's why I ended up going for Simicast instead. Um, I, I'm reluctant to say the team looks good, because whenever I say that, the, the team doesn't do well. But um, yeah, I think it's pretty close to like what the wildcarders will be doing. And I used mine way back in game week 8, so a few weeks ago. And to be fair, I, was, I have gained about 2 million rank, still a way off where I want to be. But uh, welcome to the stream. I've got FPL Bateman, Marcus. What are you doing here again, Marcus? I thought you were tuning into Ross's streams. It's good to see you in the last couple of streams. Uh, we've got another Marcus, Albertson, uh, Malik, John. Good to see John in the chat. Bilal, Sean, uh, Kushtrim, Uka, Icon, Not Found, Felix, Rani, uh, Sam. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Get your questions in the chat. Loads to talk about in this one. We'll do the news roundup in a bit. We're going to have a look at the scout selection, uh, kings of the game week, projected points, most tryouts with players. Uh, we've got that mini game again. I don't know if you guys remember. I might have forgot last week actually, but I've got a mini game for the deadline streams where I reveal a player who scored one of the biggest point points hauls in FPL history, and you've got to name the player and the season if you know. Loads of questions on Udogi. Um, I'll show you what's been said on Udogi. Um, so first of all, obviously he went off like 55 minutes, 56 minutes last game week, and yeah, I, that's really annoying. Like, if you own Udogi, that's annoying because they kept the clean sheet. So everyone else who had the other Spurs assets got the clean sheet. So as far as this game week and tonight's game, yesterday, Postacogli said they're going to wait and see how he is on the day. An update from Paul O'Keefe today said Udogi is fine and he's available for selection, but he also added so is Davies. So it's up to Ange to decide who starts, basically. So he's fit and available for selection, so that's good news. Um, but yeah, whether Postacogli starts him or not, really hard to say. Whether it's worth a hit, like there's people asking Udogi to Simicast for a hit, I don't think I would do that, personally. Who's O'Keefe? He's um, kind of like a, a Tottenham in the know. He seems to do a lot of Tottenham coverage, he does like predictor lineups and so on. I'm not actually sure exactly what his connection is, but um, he, tend he seems to just cover Tottenham for the most part. Um, so yeah, he's reliable as far as saying that Udogi's fit, so he'll, he'll be in the squad. Really hard to say if he starts or not though, really, because we don't know. Super chat straight away from FPL1, thank you for that. Uh, he's got two free transfers. He's looking at Saka and Adingra, or Maguire, in for Madison and Neto Udogi, or Simicas and Gabriel in for Bernu and Udogi. So hang on, Saka and Adingra, Okay, I see what you're asking. I prefer... You know what, I think I'd keep Neto. I don't think there's a reason to sell Neto. I know he's got Newcastle this week, but after that, Wolves have got a pretty nice run of games. Or Simicast and Gabriel in for Burn. So I've brought in Saka. I think this is going to be a fixture where Arsenal win 3-4-0. So I just wanted to... I wanted a piece of the pie, basically. So I think the first option... Maguire's an interesting one. We've... <laughs> What do you guys think about Maguire? Like everyone rips Maguire, but he actually looks like an FPL option right now because Martinez is potentially out till New Year. Um, Maguire's actually playing better recently. He scored in the Champions League uh, on Wednesday. And after City, they've got good fixtures. So assuming you don't need to start Maguire, then I would say the Saka option. I think I prefer that to Adingra or 
Um, I like the Simicast Gabriel one as well, but I think if you want to chase the upside, I'd go for the Saka route. Windows says, damn it, I was late. You're only late by five or so minutes. You're all right. You're all right. Welcome to the stream. McGuire Essential. I don't know if I'd go that far, but yeah, he's 4.2 mil. So I might end up getting him in game week 11. So with the two moves I've made, I've got 0.2 mil on the bank. So I could go Caboro to Maguire. That's an option for me because then I can bench Burn and Botman because they play, they play against Arsenal. You know, and what are the chances of a clean sheet? Probably not that high. So I, I am genuinely looking at Maguire for Kabore game week 11 because Man United have got uh, a few nice fixtures. Uh, who have they got game week 11? The first one, is it Fulham? Yeah, they've got Fulham and then they've got Luton and then Everton. So that's like three nice fixtures um, that you could play them for. And obviously in, what game week is this? 13, game week 13, Simicass has got City. So again, you could just start Maguire when Simicast has got the City. So there is actually logic to it. That's probably the better pick is a, a Palace defender because they've also got three good fixtures after this game week. So even better than that, if you can get a, a Palace defender like Guayhi or Anderson or maybe Mitchell, then I think that's an option as well. And I'm not ruling that out for Botman. <clears throat> uh, Flandy, thanks for the five gifted memberships. Thank you for that, Flandy. What we'll starts to the stream? Uh, thank you for that, Flanny. Those went to Christopher. Those who can't play sports, please work. LV and Harry Football. So if you've got one of those, make sure you thank Flandy. Is that another five or is that a duplicate? That's another five from uh, Flandy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> one went to your nan. So <laughs> your nan is now an FPL Focal member. So is uh, Mackie, uh, Apinator. Apinator. Uh, Simon Nils Nilsson and Mana5. Flandy flexing minutes into the stream there. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, I made a transfer already, Nick. I've brought in Simicas and Saka for Poro and Madison. So, it's a nice game, like, after selling those two. It's, it, I mean, it could backfire this gaming, but it does feel like two good long-term moves. Like, Simicas is great until the new year, so you get this entire run out of him probably be that so there's only a few there that I'd probably bench him so I like Simicast as an option for four and a half mil <clears throat> start burn or Adogi I would start burn just because Adogi is a little bit of a question mark we know that he's fit and available it's just whether he starts or whether it's Davies um, but I would play it safe with burn there thanks very much for the 10 gifted there Flandy Sufal starting. Yeah, I imagine he'll start, yeah. Uh, Emerson, I believe, is suspended. So maybe Cresswell plays this game in left back. But I imagine Sufal starts. Is Matoma, is Matoma okay? Yeah, Matoma's fine. Strangely, he did play 90 minutes in um, Europa League last night. But I think uh, De Zerbi just wanted to secure the three points against Ajax there so I think that's why he did that it was pretty much full strength team interestingly um, Ferguson didn't start though how are we doing Lorenzo welcome to the stream uh, Christian with a super chat he says uh, yo Oscar you deserve a raise <laughs> absolutely love this week's content appreciate that thanks Christian yeah last night was a really late one I was editing the experts video till like midnight honestly I finished about midnight and then I got up really early because I wanted to publish it as early as possible um, so, yeah, I appreciate that. Did I miss a, a super chat from someone else there? Sorry, two secs. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, Paul asks, uh, minus four hit to change Darwin and Neto to Palmer and Watkins. Oh, it's just, does Darwin start or not? What do you guys in chat think? Does Darwin start? I think that's the one position that's really hard to predict. Like, Diaz has had his rest. Salah's had his rest. Salah actually scored off the bench last night and I think he's now the top Premier League scoring player of all time in the Champions League. I think he overtook Henri last night. You know what, I think I would do that, just about. I do think Watkins, the next three fixtures, I think you just have to have him. If you've got Alvarez, if it was Alvarez, I would say I wouldn't take that hit, but for Darwin, I probably would. LV reckons Darwin starts. Another five gifted. Payday for Flandy as well, I guess. 
<laughs> Flandy, thank you so much for that. And thank you, Matthew, as well. For the 12 months, he says, Yo, bro, one year, uh, bench Cash, Poro, or Simicass. You can't bench Cash. So it's between Poro and Simicass. And I think I'd favour the home player. So I'd bench Poro reluctantly. Uh, thank you for the one year, Matt. Appreciate that very much. Uh, thanks, Flandy, as well, for the five gifted. George, Turge, uh, Marcus, Visa, and Dominic got one. Uh, Chat. Chaz Tat says, Darwin and Trippier to Watkins and Simicass. I think I would do that as well. I just, you guys seem to reckon that Darwin starts. I'm not sure, because like Joss is playing really well as well. Darwin's playing well. It's really hard to predict like who's going to play through the middle. It could easily be Jota. I think I would do it, though. I just feel like you have to have Wat Watkins if you can get to him in place of someone like Darwin. It's more of a question mark if you've got Alvarez, because Alvarez is just killing it as well. But Darwin, oh, it's one of those that could like easily backfire, because Trippier is having a good season. But I, I really like Watkins and Simicast, so I would do that, Chaz. I would do that. Is that a uh, bloody hell? Another five gifted uh, F from FC8, Sean. Uh, thanks so much for that, Sean. That went to Eric, Sam, Oscar, uh, Shamil, and Faris. Uh, thank you so much for the early support guys. This is crazy. We're only 15 minutes into the stream. I haven't even got started with the stream yet I've got about 30 tabs open here in advance setting up for this stream because we've got so much to talk about So um, thanks for that as well Sean if you've got any gifted memberships Make sure you uh, thank those guys and if you are a member or just became one make sure you link your discord account because there's a private uh, channel for members where the members are chatting every day. I'm in there, I post the videos early and you get a badge by your name. Or if you want to become a member, uh, there's a join button below the stream or links below. Uh, FPL Bateman says, Darwin also assisted via the post. Oh, did you guys see that? It was like that, was it that Torres chance for Chelsea? It, it immediately reminded me of that. Like he rounded the keeper, wide open goal, and he smacked it against the post. At least that one um, ended up an assist. Uh, Hazardous has got two free transfers. Saka and Diaby in for Luis Diaz and Foden, and bench one of Madison's son, Saka Bowen, Diaby, Haaland, Watkins, and Alvarez. Yeah, again, it's one of those, like, Diaz could smash it this week, but those two moves make sense to me. Like, Saka's an upgrade on Diaz, and Diaby's an upgrade on Foden, so. Yeah, I agree with those moves, Hazardous. In terms of who to bench, reluctantly, I think it has to be Alvarez. I wouldn't bet. Yeah, it has to be. Al it's Alvarez or Madison. Probably, probably Alvarez. What do you guys think? Would you bench Madison away to Palace or Alvarez away to Man United? It's one of those two. But yeah, the two moves I would definitely do. It's just whether to bench Alvarez or Madison. It has to be one of those two. Maybe Madison actually. I think I'd bench Madison. Yeah, I think I'd bench Madison because you've got a son. <clears throat> uh, Focal, best content creator. Thanks very much. He's just said that so I'll answer his question. He said, uh, I did bomb into Simicast. Would you start Simicast over a doge? Yeah, 100%. I would start Simicast over a doge. Would you go Mitoma or Alvarez? I would go Mitoma there if that's who to start. Adam's considering the bench boost. He's got Steele, Solanke, Van Thwait, and Dan Byrne. It's not a bad bench. It's still going to start, though. This is the annoying thing with um, De Zerbi. He's rotating the keepers. So I don't know if there's a trend. If anyone knows, let us know. But could, you know, could Verbruggen start in goal? And it, is Van Thwait going to keep a clean sheet against West Ham? Probably not. I don't think that's worth a bench boost. I get the thinking though, like Solanke and Burn are good for this week, but I don't think I would um, bench boost that. Maguire or Regulon on a wild card? I would have Maguire. I believe Shaw's back after the international break, so you might only get a couple game weeks um, out of Regulon. Whereas I think Lissandro Martinez is out till the new year, so 
in theory, you should get loads more games out of Maguire uh, versus Regulon. Chris Corkery, thanks for the super chat. Poro to Gabriel or Dallo to Simicas. Uh, I would do the Poro move to, the, to uh, Gabriel. Dallo's fine. Bench him this week if you can, and then he's got those three fixtures after. <clears throat> yeah, I would do that. And Dallo's fixtures turn when Gabriel's got Newcastle, so you might have the option to bench Gabriel when Dallo's got Fulham in game week 11. So Poro to Gabriel. It's not a pressing move though, like if you've got two free transfers, I don't think it's a move you have to make this week. Or if you've got one free transfer rather, you could just roll. But yeah, I prefer the first option. Trippier or Palmer? I mean, they're totally different price points. Trippier's the superior FPL asset, but there's there's like two mil between them, isn't there? If that's who to start, definitely Trippier. Opinions on Trent? Yeah, I wish they'd price Trent a bit cheaper because there's no reason to go for him over Trippier. That's the problem. Even after all the price rises Trippier's had, still for like 0. Was he 0. 0.8 mil cheaper, 0. 0.9 mil? You have to go Trippier over Trent. And since Simicast has emerged as an FPL option, he makes a lot more sense over Trent. Like obviously Trent's a far better player, but is he 3.3 million better? I would say no. So it has to be Trippier over Trent if you're going for a premium defender. I don't I don't see any reason to get Trent. If you're going Haalandless and you're like you have absolutely nowhere to spend the money, then yeah, by by all means. Uh, Max, thanks for this super chat. He says best minimum price fillers to pick up on a wild card. So I would say Taylor in defence, 3.9 mil. I'm good, Dry Brief. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Yeah, Taylor, 3.9 mil. Obviously, I mean, a lot of them I've got in my team here. Archer makes sense, 4.5 mil. I'd have the Areola and Turner combo if I was on a wild card because they're so cheap. Someone I mentioned in a video this week is Foster. If you've got 0.5 mil lying around, I think he's a way better asset than uh, Archer. Burnley have got really nice fixtures for a while. He's only 5 mil. Playing for a better team, better underlying numbers. Uh, here he is. I think he's only got a few returns this season, but they've had a brutal opening run of games. Three goals, two assists. I thought, yeah, more than I thought, actually. Uh, but they've played City, Villa, Tottenham, Man United, Newcastle, Chelsea, Brentford. But these upcoming games, if you can afford him for 5 mil, I would have him over Archer all day. But I think that's I think that's difficult for a lot of people on the wild card. Unless you really have nailed your transfers early this season to the point that you've uh, caught all the price rises. But I'm I'm certainly not in that position. I've got 0.2 mil left. Yeah, I think I'd start Neto, John, just because. Just because the dogie's a question mark, we might get a leak before the deadline. So obviously if we get anything, I'll let you guys know. There's a chance of that. Any leaks, I'll just relay to you guys straight away if it comes before the deadline. Uh, if we know a dogie starts, I'd start him over Neto. Otherwise, just play it safe with Neto, who you know is going to start. Albeit tough fixture. Will Alvarez start? Yeah, he should do. Uh, he should do. He was rested in the Champions League, so... Uh, Pep rotated quite a bit, obviously with an eye on the Manchester derby. So I would be 99% sure he starts. I see no ro no reason why he wouldn't. Is Poro okay to play this game week? Absolutely. Yeah, Poro is fine. It's one of those, like, I sold him this week. And it could backfire. But it feels like a better longer term set of players to own in Simicast and Saka. Like Tottenham's fixtures are turning soon. Like Palace away isn't a walk in the park. I think they've only conceded three goals at home this season. Whereas, you know, Saka's got Sheffield United. They're worse in the league for expected goals conceded. They've got like, defenders out injured. I think McBurney might be out or he's a doubt. Uh, and obviously Simicass, I think, um, I'd like to think does better than Poro longer term. They could do close, but I'd say Saka outscores Madison. So um, that was why I got rid of Poro, but he's absolutely fine this week. Like, pa Palace are without Eze still. So, 
Yeah, quite predictably, they've struggled for goals since he's been out injured. Uh, what did I do? Asked Lewis. I sold Porro and Madison for Simicass and Saka, using two free transfers. Neto or Burn? I think I'd start Burn. I mean, what's likely? A Neto to get a return or Newcastle to keep a clean sheet? You'd say the way Newcastle are playing, probably likely to keep a clean sheet. Adam says poll. Man, a few words, Adam. All right, let's do a poll. What's your, oh, let's do a captain poll. Because, I mean, this week, I, there's not even enough options I could fit in here. But let's have Salah, Haaland. I mean, what, who are even the top three? Salah, Haaland, Watkins, and other? You could easily have Saka and Sonny here, though, right? So if you vote for other... Uh, let us know in, in chat. Callum's on cash captain. Interesting. I mean, what? Let's have a look at the, the uh, clean sheet odds this week. Yeah, Villa are actually second. I mean, cash is not a bad shout. A very like left field pick. But I mean, yeah, he's top this season for expected goal involvement among defenders. So I don't hate cash uh, as a captain pick. It's a bit rogue. Like I'd say there's probably four or five I would have ahead of him. Uh, Arsenal 56% chance against Sheffield United. So it's a great week to buy Gabriel. Martinelli asks Zitoun. Yeah, Martinelli's, uh, I'd say he's a great option for this week. I actually uh, was having a look at the uh, defensive data just before we went live. And uh, I actually left it as it was here. Because I was looking at this. Crosses conceded. Sheffield United have conceded 129 down their right flank, which is the most this season, more than any team. And that's Martinelli's side. So we could see Martinelli thrive. Annoyingly though, as we'll talk about in the news roundup in a second, uh, Jesus is injured. And that could, uh, that could be bad news for Martinelli. It might be Nketiah that starts. Uh, the problem with Nketiah is... Jesus tends to drop deep, he links up play, draws defenders away, and Martinelli ends up pushing central. Like we saw that in the Champions League, uh, Jesus was playing deeper. Really good assist, by the way. He like did a cross turn and played Martinelli through. He was the furthest forward. Martinelli rounded the keeper and scored. But yeah, no Jesus this week. Let's do the news roundup, actually. We'll start off with Arsenal. Arteta's ruled out Partey for a few weeks of a muscle injury and Gabriel Jesus will be out for a similar length of time uh, after scans showed a muscle injury. So, I mean, who starts up top? Is it going to be Nketiah or Havertz? Arteta loves Nketiah, so it could be Nketiah, but yeah, it could be either of those two. I don't know if I would go there with the Nketiah punt since it's uh, only a few weeks. No fresh injury updates from Klopp. Um, after the game against Toulouse. Uh, Robertson obviously still out long term, so Simicass is a great long term option. And uh, likewise with Brighton, no fresh injury concerns after the game in the Europa League. Obviously though, March is out for a long period and so is Welbeck. So I've seen Jao Pedro sneaking his way back into a few wild cards and a few transfers this week. It feels like game week one all over again. I start the season with Jao Pedro and I think he scored game week one. I think it was a penalty. Uh, is it, I don't know, is it deja vu or is he actually a better option now? He did have a great preseason, which is why I started with him. But yeah, Welbeck is out, so maybe his minutes will be better. Uh, po Pochettino says James is going to be on the bench uh, for tomorrow's game. So if you're a Gusto owner, it looks like you'll get another week out of him. Uh, and Kunku's really close, interesting one. Could be back after the international break. Obviously, Chelsea have got a bad run of games at the moment, but from game week 16, they've actually got a crazy run of games. So maybe we'll have Nkunku as an option. Certainly, uh, Cole will from around game week 16 when their fixtures turn nicely. Um, Bournemouth update. Iriola's confirmed that Neto will be out at least until at least the next international break. This is the goalkeeper Neto, not the uh, Wolves midfielder. So... Yeah, I guess Radu starts in goal tomorrow, as they say here. And by the way, I guess that means Haaland, home in game week 11 against Bournemouth, who haven't got their first choice goalkeeper. 
This is the uh, Harlan Sellers. <laughs> Tottenham news. Um, we had covered this one earlier, but Paul O'Keefe says here that Udogi's fine and he will be available for selection, but so is Davies, so it's going to be up to Ange who to start between Davies and Udogi. And I took a screenshot here from FPL Olympian. Uh, just pause if you wanted to go through this uh, on the stream. He's done like a, a nice roundup of all the news here. I won't read all of it, but um, he's covered most teams here. So if you want to just pause the stream and have a look at that and then hop back to live, that's fine. We'll see you in a minute. Um, but that's the news roundup from uh, FP Olympian. Nice summary there. Uh, Mo Omar says, Hey Oscar, Pau Torres, Maguire and 5 million midfielder uh, plus Mitoma or Cash Gwehi and 5 mil midfielder plus Gordon. And which 5 mil midfielder is best? He's catching the flights, he's going to miss the deadline. For which 5 mil midfielder? I mean, it's Palmer or Adingra. Adingra is a bit of an unknown quality. Uh, like, he's not played lows this season. I think he's got a few returns. He got an assist last night in Europa League. And he should be pretty nailed because uh, March is out long term. And I was listening to one of De Zerbi's pressers and he did say Adingra is going to be a more important player for us. So if you like a little bit of a punt, I would say Adingra for 5 mil with Brighton's fixtures. Uh, Powell and Maguire in 5 mil. And Matoma or Cash Gwehi 5 mil. Uh, that's really close. I think I prefer option one just about. But then do you go Adingra and Matoma? Probably not. I mean, the double up could work, but I don't know if I'd want to double up in Brighton mids. I think I'd go option two. I think it makes sense to have Cash with his upside for the next three. So Cash, Gwehi. Gwehi's perfect because he can rotate in if you've got like a Newcastle defender or Gabriel. Uh, I'd say option two. And then you go Dingra and Gordon. Right, I'm way behind on chat. Mental Makeover has captained Alvarez. That is mental. Uh, what else have we got here? Smiley face from Dominic. Welcome to the stream, Dominic. Daniel's on Captain Saka. We'll have a look at the uh, we'll have a look at the poll results in a minute. Big Man says any more memes, mate. I don't have any more actually. I should I should start preparing like a meme per stream. A meme per stream. <clears throat> Lewis is locked in. Harlan to Watkins. Neto to Saka. And Botman to Simicast. Interesting. We'll have a look in a minute how many people are selling Haaland. I think it's quite a lot. I think about 200,000 have sold Haaland. Uh, Andreas, thanks for the 21 months. He says, is cash worth the extra over Dino short term with a wild card in a few weeks? I would say probably is. Like, Dino is actually playing well. And Moreno is out. He's had a setback. But I think Cash is probably worth it. Like Cash, again, if we look at um, on Scout over here. We'll go to my stats tables. By the way, if you want to become a Scout member, my stats tables are all public here. You just search FPL Focal and you'll find them. But look, all matches this season, defenders. You see that, yeah. Cash is top this season for expected goal involvement among all defenders. Three expected goals. For comparison, Trip has got 0.05. Cash playing like a, a right winger at times. You know, he pops up in the box. I mean, look, he's taken 16 shots. Dunk is next highest of 12. So, again, like 27 touches in the penalty area. Like Cash is just putting up crazy numbers for a defender. So I would say he probably is worth the cash over Dinia. Uh, Max asks, share Gabriel and Mubama or burn Maguire and Jao Pedro? I would say option one, share Gabriel and Mubama. I mean, Jao Pedro could live up to the hype that he had in pre-game week one, but I think I prefer option one because you're punting on Magu uh, you're punting on Jao Pedro, and you you know you're getting Maguire. I don't know. I think I prefer the first one. Is share worth the extra money though? Like you could just have burn and use that money for something else. There's bound to be something else. Uh, Chaz Tats has done Nunez and Trippier to Watkins and Simicast. Bench Ward Prowse or Madison? Uh, I think I'd bench Ward Prowse. 
I think he's blanked in four in a row. He's playing a bit deeper. Suchek has been the one playing more advanced. Uh, yeah, I think I'd probably get a bench more Prowse there. Uh, Michael says Rashford and Bruno to Salah and Diaby or Matoma for a minus four. Hmm. Probably Matoma. I would say that is worth a minus four, definitely. Right, are Man United going to get anything against City? I would sell both the Man United mids uh, if I still had them. Salah, definitely. It's just Diaby on Matoma. Uh, Diaby's got the better fixture this week. Matoma's got the slightly better longer term fixtures. I would do it for a minus four as well, and I'd probably get Matoma. Uh, Peter, thanks for the super chat. He says, Hi Oscar, what do you think of Haaland? <laughs> Haaland, Rashford, and Bruno to Watkins, Saka, and Salah. If yes, which of the three to captain? I actually don't mind that. It, like, selling Haaland obviously could hurt, but you're bringing in like three upgrades. Oh, not upgrades. Watkins and Haaland pretty close this week, but Saka and Salah, I would do it, yeah. Which of the three? I'm on captain Salah myself. We'll have a look at the, the captain poll results now, but um, I'm on captain Salah myself. Yeah, I mean, it could backfire selling Haaland, but I think it makes sense with those three you're bringing in. Yeah, I would do that. I mean, you have to sell Rashford and Bruno before Man City. Tatenda, how are we doing? Welcome to the stream. Captain poll results then. Uh, Salah, 65%. Haaland, 10%. Watkins, 18%. And 7% other. Oh, email from Amazon. Your package has been delivered. How was your delivery? What delivery? Uh, Pudding Productions, love the name. He says he's got two free transfers. Uh, Madison and Adogi to Saka, Maguire or Martinelli and Simicast or simply hold a transfer and do Madison to Mitoma. Love the content. Can you afford Saka and Simicast? No, okay, so it's Martinelli, Simicast or Saka, Maguire. <laughs> That's a tough one. I think I would, I would, pro, I would rather have Saka over Martinelli because Saka's numbers have been way better this season. Again, like if we pull up the tables here and look at midfielders, Saka six point six nine xgi. Erdegaard's down there. Martinelli is there. So this is a comparison of the Arsenal mids this season. Don't get me wrong, Martinelli is good still. But you can see Mark Saka's numbers have just been way, way better this season. So it, I think I would do the Saka Maguire one. I'd go the first option. I don't know. Yeah, it's really close. I think I'll do the first one, Saka Maguire. Uh, Simicast is good, but you might still have another route to him. I don't know the rest of your defense, but I think I'd, uh, I'd go option one, Saka Maguire. Why Botman first on bench? It's just in case like he's available. I'm assuming he's not, but you know, if he is, then I'd rather have him first than Archer. I actually don't know. I assume Botman's still out because he's red flagged, but you know, you know what Howe's like. Like in Howe's presser last week, he said something like, you know, Botman's in contention. And then after the game, he was like, obviously I couldn't tell you that Botman wasn't available. It's like, what do you mean, obviously? Why, why is that like, something you can't tell us it's not even like a team would change their tactics based on the sales playing over Botman Trippier or Burn? Trippier transfer in, Bo transfer in Bowen or Diaby I would say Bowen I would like Bowen a bit more but Diaby's good as well yeah, Diaby, he's frustrating. He's been coming really close to returns. I think he's been a bit unlucky. I feel like it's coming. He played that chance through to Watkins last game. And Watkins turned his man and then skewed it wide. So close to the dream link up there. But I would say Diaby. Uh, Akil says, Saka, Matoma, Gordon or Saka, Bowen and Palmer. <laughs> I mean, I might be a bit on my own here, but I'm actually not a massive fan of Palmer as a pick. Chelsea have got a horrendous run of games. 
I'm not totally getting the uh, Palmer hype. I know he's 5 mil and he's on pens. But like, what are you going to get out of him for this run? Brentford's alright, but then they've got Tottenham, Man City, Newcastle, Brighton, Man United. I think I'd have a Dinger over, Pal over Palmer. But I think I prefer the, op the option one anyway. If I was going to go option two, it'd be Saka Bowen and a Dingra, personally. Is anyone, is anyone getting a Dingra, or do you own him already? I feel like he's uh, an under-the-radar pick. I think he's less than 1% owned, and he should be pretty nailed with March out. Not completely nailed, obviously, known to Zerbi, but I feel like he's a good option. Maybe better than Palmer as well, given Brighton's fixtures. But um, I would go the first one, Saka Mitoma Gordon. If I was picking between Matoma or Gordon to answer Martin's question, then it's got to be Matoma. Liam's got a Dingra. <laughs> Alright, let's do another poll. Have you have you used your What am I writing here? Have you your wildcard yet? Alright. So have you used your wildcard yet? If you used it this week, then vote yes as well, obviously. Let's get a feel for how many wild cards um, are left. Spurs announced their lineup already. There's no way they've announced their lineup this early. Why would they do that? I'm trying to see if there's a leak anywhere, but yeah, I don't think they've announced their lineup. Jay Cinema says, play Lamptey over Neto. If he's injured, Neto auto subs in. Yeah, but what if he's on the bench and comes on? That's also possible. Let me check what Lamptey's status is on Premier Injuries. Brighton. <laughs> Expected return 4th of November. I mean, he's ruled out, I think. So I'd play Neto regardless. Even if he was available, I feel like I'd play... Uh, Neto either way there. Just like look at your channel, you've got 6 million subscribers, bloody hell, that is crazy, fair play. Good to see you in the chat. Right. No one got it right last game week. Guesses in the chat, who's going to be the top scorer of game week 10? It was Murphy. Murphy, last game week, 17-pointer from him. Guesses in the chat, who's going to be the top scorer of game week 10? No winners last week. Will we have a winner this week? And further to that, if you're a member of the Discord, don't forget to get your guess in um, in the Kings of the Game Week channel. On Discord, it works differently. You can't guess a player that's been guessed before, so you have to be really quick on Discord of your guess. But on the streams, you can guess someone that's been guessed already. Oh, sorry, Carl. Uh, let me check that now. <laughs> Start Cher or Gordon? I feel like Gordon's the higher upside player. Like He should have had two goals last game. If any of you saw the game, he had that chance at the back post and he put it against the bar. And I feel like he should have scored that. He did still get his goal, but... I would start Gordon. I feel like, like he's playing really well at the moment. Like he was exceptional. He was really lively in the Champions League. They ended up losing to Dortmund, but he played well. I feel like he's uh, the more upside pick between the two, personally. Uh, Thomas says, Hi Oscar, is it worth swapping Sun to Saka long term? I don't think it's worth selling Sun for Saka. Thanks, Jays. Appreciate that. No, I don't think it's worth selling uh, Sun for Saka. I feel like if I was on a wild card, I'd have both. So therefore, it's not worth. It's very sideways, I think. Uh, Jam Toaster reckons in Ketia. Dawson says Salah. Uh, Big Man says Leon Bailey. Salah, Adingra, Richarlison, Watkins, Darwin, Douglas, Louise, maybe. Suchek. Can't remember who I guessed in Kings of the Game. I think I went Martinelli actually. Uh, Motu says, Saka captaincy up the gunners. 
Right, 82% have used their wildcard. Only 18 have got there still. If anyone in chat still got their wildcard, then, well, 18% of you do. I know that for a fact. When are you going to use it? Are you saving it for, uh, like, Game Week 19? Lewis has taken a punt on Fatty. Interesting. That's a bit harsh. His name's Maguire. Trying to save it for Game Week 19. Game Week 16 ish. Okay. Interesting. I mean, fair play if you've made it this far. What's Game Week 19? We've got. Um, let's pull up the ticker. Can you see that? Game Week 70. I think Game Week 19 is the last week you can use it, if I'm not mistaken, or Game Week 20. Uh, but we've got the blank game week in 18 for Brentford and Man City. So I guess it's an opportunity to hop off those assets. Um, is there any other reason? Are there turning fixtures? I guess you could wildcard like Haaland and Alvarez straight back in. And I guess like Mbumo, like they've got Wolves home, Palace away. So I suppose it lets you tackle the blank as well. I suppose that's another reason to uh, consider saving it. Right, it's been a good stream already. Uh, if you've enjoyed the stream, hit like on it. Make sure you subscribe. I do these streams every deadline, so um, if you're subscribed, you won't miss out when I do those. When is AFCON? Good question, actually. When is AFCON? It's a while away. I think that's another reason to save your wildcard till then, because... No, it's in January. 13th January. So, yeah, I mean, that's a point as well. Like, Salah will be gone, and Bumo... Uh, there's probably loads more I'm forgetting but yeah that's a factor as well there's going to be players going away for AFCON and it's also the Asian Cup when's that? that I think mainly Sun is the uh, the main one affected there I guess Wang will be from Wolves as well uh, that's on the 12th of January yeah so it's going to be a, be a bit hectic halfway through January but it's a while away still but yeah there's going to be a lot of players going away then so yeah we'll have to hop off Salah and Bumo. Uh, I mean, there's probably others I'm forgetting. Who am I forgetting? Let me know in chat. Music is banging. Thanks, Adam. Who is going to be our captain? Yeah, I mean, I've on Salah. I've got Watkins Vice, but I feel like you could just as easily go on Haaland and Saka Vice. How many of the big five do you guys have this week? I feel like these are the big five this week, aren't they? How many have you got of the big five? Has anyone got all five? Spurs announced their lineup on Instagram. Are you trolling? I don't believe it. There's no way they would just release their lineup hours before kickoff, surely. Tottenham. I'll check anyway. Tottenham. Yeah, they haven't. <laughs> Liam's got all five. He says, all five, baby. Muchi's got zero. What the hell is your team if you've got zero? Are you playing anti-FPL? Devils has got four. Uh, Jeff Cakes has three. No Sun, no Haaland. No Saka. Okay. Daniel's got all five. Fair play. Shamil, Saka minus four? Is that what you're asking? Or you got four after a Saka? George has got four, no Watkins. Amina's got all of them. Yeah, I feel like if you've got all five this week, surely you're on for a green arrow. Surely. Amit says, what would you suggest? Martinelli and Mitoma and Guehi. Or Sacco, Netton and Gordon plus Branthwaite. I've got Salah, Sun, Bowen in the midfield. And Cash and Macas Gabriel. Can you afford Maguire over Branthwaite? Because I would go Saka, Gordon, Maguire. Because then you can bench Gabriel when he's away to Newcastle and play Maguire <clears throat> when he plays Fulham. I prefer the Saka route just because Saka's numbers so far have been way, way better than Martinelli's. Don't get me wrong though, Martinelli could 
smash this season from here on. I mentioned in the video this week, last season, Martinelli only scored four points fewer than Saka, and he played something like 400 less minutes. So, you know, in theory, had they played equal minutes, Martinelli would have actually probably fairly comfortably outscored Saka. But, I mean, perhaps one of the things that goes in Saka's favour is his availability. Martinelli does get the odd injury here and there. Maybe that's a factor. Uh, but I would go option two, Saka, Gordon. And then I'd probably have Taylor over Bramthwaite, unless you've already got him. No, you've got Cash, Simicas, Gabriel. Because I suppose Taylor's a bit cheaper. He's got better fixtures. You can make a decision in game week 11 whether to start him against Palace and bench Gabriel. Start Raya or Martinez? I would absolutely start Raya. Arsenal top of the uh, clean sheet odds this week. So I would definitely start Raya. I Donut exists says Saka's underlying numbers look so much better than Martinelli's. Yeah, so far this season, Saka's numbers have just been so much superior to the point it's not even close. Even in terms of minutes per expected goal involvement, because obviously Martinelli has played less, so that's a factor. But even factoring that in. Suresh, how we doing, mate? Good to see you. Flandy with the Teddy emojis. Teddy's not here, actually. He's uh, around the families, unfortunately. Simicast or Gabriel? So I had the exact same decision to make. I could afford either of them. In the end, I ended up going for Simicast. Although his clean sheet odds um, are slightly worse this week, the reason I did it was because obviously Simicast has got a bit of upside about him. But also in game week 11, Simicast has got Luton, whereas Gabriel has got Arsenal away. And I've already got Burn and Botman, so I would end up having to play Burn and Gabriel against one another. Whereas at least I've got Simicast who's got Luton. And I've got the option in game week 11 still to sell. I could go Kabore to Maguire with that 0.2 mil. Or I could go Botman to Guayhi because Palace have got three nice fixtures. So it made more sense in my team. It might be different in your team, but that was why I did it that way round. Because of that game week 11 fixture for Simicast. Uh, Oli says, sell Son or Harlan for Saka. Feel like you need Saka. I wouldn't sell either of those for Saka, personally. I do get wanting to have Saka, but I don't think selling Son or Harlan's the answer. I think you can only make a case for it, like if you don't have Watkins, for example. Like let's say you've got Harland and Sterling. Perhaps Saka and Watkins does better over the next few weeks. But I wouldn't sell either, Oli. I mean you have to keep Son. Like he's smashing it this season. He's playing a striker. It feels like he's um, recovering from this injury. He's getting more minutes. Maybe he's close to playing 90. I mean, actually looking at the last few weeks, 68, then 75, then 81. So maybe the medical team have said to him, uh, against Liverpool, he's like, he needs to play 70 minutes max. Is that just a football manager thing? Or is that what they actually say? Because those of you that have played football manager will know that they, uh, if you hover over player, it says something like, medical team advise player play 75 minutes. I'm guessing that's based on real life. <laughs> I don't actually know, but like, yeah, there is an upwards trend, though, is what I'm saying with his minutes, and uh, he's killing it. So I wouldn't sell Son. I know Haaland's been disappointing, but are you really going to sell him against the Man United team that have got injuries at the back? They've just barely beaten Copenhagen in the Champions League, thanks to a Maguire header and uh, a Nana safe penalty. And then Bournemouth home. Like, Neto's injured till after the international break, so they have. They're going to have their backup keeper in goal. Long answer, but yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, Fantasy Football Chronicles got two free transfers. Really brought in Saka for Bruno. Is it worth selling Zinchenko for Gabriel Simicas? I've got Porros on the bench. I don't think I'd be selling... I don't think I'd sell Zinchenko. I know there's a chance he doesn't start. But it feels very sideways to sell him for Gabriel or Simicas. I feel like it's one you can delay. And if he doesn't start this week, then sell him for Simicast when he's got Newcastle away. So, yeah, I wouldn't do that personally. Mirage's son is playing FPL. He's 10 years old and he's got all of the big five and you're trying to catch him in FPL. 
You know what? It's funny. I I, I watch FPL Juice's streams. Uh, I don't know if they're doing um a I, do, I think they're doing a streamception right now. And uh, Nick's son plays FPL, but he's like six or seven, and he's absolutely smashing it. He's so far ahead of his dad, Nick. Do you think there's something in that? Like, we obsess over FPL and sometimes overthink it and don't make the obvious move. And I think there is like a psychological thing. Like, if you spend more time on something, you're more likely to see it through. Whereas sometimes the first option you looked at was the right one. I've definitely been guilty of that. Where you look at FPL and you're like, okay, yeah, that's what I should do. And then you spend a few hours looking at it. You're like, oh, I could do this. Like, this is quite fancy. This might work. And suddenly you've got Maguire. That's probably going to be me game week 11. Like, I'm genuinely looking at Kabore to Maguire game week 11. Kenny says, Forest lose seven players to AFCON. Get rid of Turner. Seven players? Do they actually? Bloody hell. I mean, they'll probably sign like another seven players in the January window, but... Oh, you can't sell Turner though. Like He's four mil. I mean, he's going to be on my bench for a while. I mean, looking at Ariola's fixtures, Everton, Brentford, Forest, Burnley, Palace. I don't plan to start him at any point. Maybe that Everton game, if Eze's back. Dan says they're live in the pub. Shout out to uh, FPL Juice. Wish I could be there tonight. They're streaming from a venue in London. I would go out tonight with them, but I'm going out tomorrow. I'm going to a fancy dress party. Can you guess who I'm going as from this? <laughs> I've got the full outfit ready. I don't know if I'll post a picture of it because I'm going to look like such a mug, but uh, I'm going as Mr. Bean to a Halloween party tomorrow. It's like a silent disco in London. And I even bought the teddy, the teddy that he's got. It's even got like a blazer that you can take off. I was so impressed. It was like a fiver. I'm undressing to Teddy on streamer. Yeah, I got the props as well. So I'm going to be on the dance floor, like dance with a Teddy, looking like a right mug. But if I have enough beers, then uh, I won't be thinking about what a knob I look like dressed as Mr. Bean. Like, it's one of those. Like, what's that from? I feel like it's a comedy sketch where like everyone's dressed up as, you know, like girls are dressed up as like a sexy cat and stuff like that. My girlfriend's coming with me and she's going as a cat. Like she's going to be dressed up looking really good and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to rock up as Mr. Beam with like a red tie and a teddy. Oh man. Now I say it out loud, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to have a few beers before I go out for that. Anyway. Uh, Tucker says, would you sacrifice Cash or Gordon on a wild card to avoid a completely ripped, stripped down bench of three point... Yeah, I think you have to. You cannot you cannot have a bench that's 4.3 and 3, 3.9 mil defenders. You could go Gordon down to a Dingra. That gives you 0.6. So, I mean, it's it's still not enough, really. Like, you could go Cash down to Pau Torres. That works as well. <laughs> Pull up in the green mini as well. I'll actually have to hire out a green mini. Oh, the iconic green mini. This will be me rocking up tomorrow night. That was a great episode. Why does he even do that? I can't remember that why he does it, but he like steers the car from his roof. I think he buys something that doesn't fit in the car. Anyway, yeah, so I'll be Mr. Bean tomorrow. I better not say where it is, because someone one of you was one of you will end up going there as well and get a photo of me as Mr. Bean. Right, can you guys guess who the most transferred in player is this game week? Most transferred in player we're looking for. Has it been one hour already? This stream has flown by. I've loved this stream so far, it's been a good one. <laughs> ben says, where's the venue? I'm not saying where it is. I'm not leaking the venue. You might get a leak from Team News and Ticks, like Focal spotted at x -Vent. Saka, Rashford, Salah. Watkins. What's the song? This one is 
Mindful Vortex by Harris Heller. Mindful Vortex. When did we start letting Oscar have fun? I've got to have fun. I have to. It keeps me going. Most transferred him. It's actually Watkins, not Saka. Let's refresh the numbers. This is from uh, ffstuff.co.uk. Uh, it's actually Watkins. 789,000 have transferred Watkins in. Not Saka. Saka is second. Him and Salah are pretty close. Just under half a million have brought in Saka uh, and Salah. Douglas Louise in fourth. That's surprising. Simicas. Alvarez. Okay. Palmer, Bowen, Son, Matoma, Cash, Trippier, Gabriel, Gordon. All right, can you say, can you guess who the most sold player is? Most sold player. Dino says most trans out. I'm asking you guys first. Who's the most transferred out? The previous song was, oh, Boxer Meet Canvas. Boxer Meet Canvas. The previous song was my cousin, actually. He made that song, Boxer Meet Canvas. Uh, Wilding is his name on Spotify. Most sold. Uh, Haaland. Surely it's not Haaland. Ronaldo. A Stupinan, Isaac. A lot of Stupinan guesses. Have you guys cheated? Is it a Stupinan? It is. 438,000 have sold a Stupinan. <laughs> Rashford, Botman, Haaland. 345,000 have sold Haaland. Is he going down tonight? Is he going down to 13.9? Oh no, he's only minus 22%. Okay. Holy, have you seen the price changes tonight? Let me take a screenshot because there's, there's so many ads on this page. Let's give you a nice ad-free experience. And if you enjoy ad-free experience, then hit like for that and uh, subscribe for ad-free price changes. I shouldn't do that actually because that's probably... That's probably how they fund their website. I suppose they get the ad revenue from uh, me on the website anyway, not from you looking at it via a stream. So I'll take it back, right decision. Watkins, Watkins is 210%. Douglas Louise, looks like he's going up. Gabriel, Cash. How many price rises have you guys got here? So ignore Taylor, because he, well you might, but how many have you got from burn upwards that might be rising? I bet some of you are looking at like a 0.5 mil gain to just tonight aren't you so I've got Watkins cash Ariela Sun burn I might be gaining five 0.5 mil One, two. oh it's payday it is the end of the month Watkins Gabriel cash Ariela Sun burn white also looking like he's going up to 5.7 van der Ven Douglas Louise Douglas Louise, by the way, one yellow from uh, suspension. Not that that makes him a bad pick, but something to be mindful of if he gets one more yellow. Right. I mentioned earlier that we've got a little mini game to play, so we're going to do that. And I've double checked it's in the right order this time around, because last time we played the game, I gave you the answer first and then the question after. So you've got to name the player and name the season. And then I'll answer the Adogi questions after. So you need to name the player that got this score. And, if you can, name the season. So, 25 points this player got. Who's the player? And if you can guess the season, what season did they get that haul? <laughs> Jam Toaster reckons Torre. Mr. Bean, <laughs> Mr. Bean in 2010. Company, Milner, a few Aguero guesses, Zinchenko, Aguero, David Silva, Sterling, or oh, about half of you have got it. The answer is Sergio Aguero, and it was in game week 8 of the 2015-16 season, so that was the season Leicester won the league. Aguero scored 25 points. Does anyone remember how he did that? It was a pretty iconic match because he did it in 60 minutes. Well, he started the game and he came off like just after 60 minutes. El Padrino's got it. 
good to see by the way, Alpadrino. It was five goals, yeah. You got it. Five goals against Newcastle. That was in game week eight, so that was almost eight years ago to the day. He scored five goals. I think actually the goals in terms of when the first one was and the fifth one, it was like something crazy like 40 minutes apart. But yeah, what could have been? Like he could have had two hat tricks. I think he came off like 63 minutes. I wish I kept him on because I don't know if anyone's ever scored two hat tricks in a Premier League game. Correct me if I'm wrong. What do you mean he was cheating? Uh, no comment, John. No comment. How are you doing, FPL Attenborough? <laughs> and here we have an FPL manager. He's Captain Salah. As it happened, Salah blanked and then Haaland hauled. He's got it wrong again. He goes again next week. Honestly, though, this week, captaincy is such a nightmare. Captain Harland, gang. Raddy's on Captain Harland. Radu, you're going to have to buy Radu because Neto's out for Bournemouth. So I think Radu starts in goal for Bournemouth. Do it for the memes. You can own yourself and your FPL team. Yeah, I think Radu is Bournemouth's backup keeper, 4.4 mil. He's only going to get like two or three games. So it's not actually a good FPL decision. But imagine owning yourself and your FPL team. I owned Oscar once or twice when he was at Chelsea. Going back a bit now. Thoughts on Saka, Captain? Yeah, I like Saka. So this is what FPL Review's projections are. I took this screenshot just before we went live. And they've got Saka. Saka's actually second here. Uh, after Salah. Welcome back for another video. There you go, I said the line, Jibs. Welcome back for another stream. Oh, he's your countryman as well. There you go. Yeah, so Salah's top of the game week uh, 10 projections on FPL Review. Uh, Saka second. Erdegaard. We haven't talked about him at all. Is anyone looking at Erdegaard? I guess for the same price. Or 0 0.1 mil difference. Barb memes say the line. Say the line, Focal. The voice. Uh, Watkins, uh, where's Haaland? Haaland 5.9, Sun 5.3. Yeah, I mean, uh, Salah is first here. And then it's Saka, interestingly. So yeah, going back to that question, I think Saka's like fine as a captain option. <laughs> Riley says, yes, Vocal, always watching, mate. Best streams, appreciate that. And if anyone else watching right now appreciates the stream, then uh, hit like on it. We're gonna play that game again one more time later where you have to name the player that got the iconic FPL Hall. I've got one more prepared. So going back to Adogi then. He was going to be assessed today and it's a decision to make him every starts. We don't know. We might get a leak but we don't know if he starts. That's the problem. It's really hard to say. Paul O'Keefe said, uh, confirmed that Adogi is fine and available for selection. But he also added so is Davy, so it's up to Ange to decide who starts. So yeah, <laughs> impossible to tell you, to be honest with you. It feels like a bit of a coin toss. Because we don't know exactly what his status is, like whether they've given the clear and said, yeah, he's fine to play. Or they might have said, yeah, give him 75 minutes. That's possible as well. Like Davies is available. Emerson Royale, I think, played left back last game. Um, but yeah, I wish I could tell you. We might get a leak. If, if that's the case, then I'll tell you um, the Spurs leaks. We might get something before the deadline. We've got just under an hour. Luna says, one more reason for me to just go to Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel's great this week. Did a doggy play in Europe? Patrick's got Alvarez on the bench. Anyone else benching Alvarez? New poll time. The poll question is, 
How many hits have you taken this season? So the options are none, one, two, or three plus. How many hits have you taken? New poll time. The poll is up. Get your votes in. Literally none. Yeah, I've not taken a hit yet. Um, back in game week eight, I was on a hit, and then I ended up pulling the wild card when I was at the island meetup, admittedly after a few pints. So blame FPL error for that. I was with him in Ireland, and he took me on a pub crawl, and then before I knew it, my wild card was active. But it actually ended up a good decision. So maybe there's something in that. So maybe sometimes you have to have that nudge of encouragement to make the decision, a brave decision. Maybe I got lucky. Uh, Faris has taken three hits. Fly has taken six. Madison to Bowen or Sun to Saka from minus four. I prefer Madison to Bowen. I wouldn't be selling Sun. How are we doing, Beardy? Good to see you, mate. Very well, thanks. Virtual says, don't FPL and drink. I think that's good advice. Unless you've got really good self-control, but I mean, your judgment might be off if you have a few drinks and then try an FPL. How important is Saka? Ask Lorkster. Lorkster? Lorkster. I mean, he's not essential. Like we talked about it a bit on the experts video today. He's not essential. Don't get me wrong though. Sheffield United home. I think it's one of the standout fixtures. Uh, one of the best fixtures you'll have all season. Maybe the best. Not essential though. And it depends who you're selling. I sold Madison and that could backfire. If you've got someone who's perhaps not as good as FPL asset as Madison, then it's an even easier decision. But... Uh, yeah, that's why I, I made the call. I ended up selling Poro for Simicast and Madison for Saka. It felt like two moves that were just better longer term and keeps pace with the wildcarders, so that was why I ended up doing it. Alexander says, I got drunk and decided against the Wilson punt. Yeah, I mean, Isaac's out injured for a bit, so like, Wilson's an option again, but surely Watkins and Alvarez are better than Wilson. Flyers captain in Ben White, surely not. So how many hits have we taken this season? 36% numb, 28% one, 17% two, and 18% have taken three or more. Interesting, so just over a third of you are yet to take a hit. Two thirds have taken at least one. A Dingra or Suchek? I think a Dingra. He's a bit punty, but I think a Dingra. A Dingra or Diaby? Definitely Diaby between those two. Got to be Diaby. George Arsene Bumo out for a hit. Not for a hit. Not for a hit. Right, and Bumo's just hauled last game week. It seems crazy to sell him for a hit. I know he's got Chelsea, which, you know, they're actually not a bad team defensively, but not for a hit. Surely. Do you like Palmer for this game week? Palmer's fine for this game week, yeah. As I say, like home to Brentford, that's not bad at all. Brentford have got a couple of uh, injuries in defence. I think Palmer's a good option for 5 mil. Yeah, let's do a poll. Palmer or Dingra, like who's the better pick? Who's the better 5 mil midfielder? Let's put this one to bed once and for all. I don't think there's any other 5 mil mids to include there, is there? I think it's just those two. Get your votes on that poll. Who's the better 5 mil mid? I mean, this one's really relevant for all the wildcarders as well, because a lot of people are looking at those two as uh, a fifth midfielder enabler. Uh, Marcus says, my West Ham bet, Bowen from Bumo got Ward Prowse. I think that's fine. Like Bowen's definitely an upgrade on Bumo for the uh, upcoming fixture run. You might end up wanting to sell Ward Prowse, so you a bit of a hokey cokey. You bring Bowen in and then maybe move Ward Prowse on. Um, depending on what you can afford, like maybe Diab uh, yeah, Diaby or Matoma in Game Week 11. But I like the Bowen transfer, yeah. Definite upgrade this week. 
John says you should go as Palmer, not Bean. True. People say I look like Palmer. Do you guys agree with that or not? 67% say Palmer's the better 5 mil mid. Uh, 33% Adingra. Interesting. All right, let's have a look at the uh, Players League. Fabian Scher is up to 27k overall. He captained Sun uh, last game. He, so, oh yeah, fair play. Captain Sun, so he got that haul. Uh, Justin's in second. Justin's quality of FPL, by the way. I know he's not in the Premier League, but... Look at his rank history. He came 76k last season, 52k the year before, 5k in the 2021 season. 42k in the 1920 season. Do you reckon Justin watches FPL content? I mean, his team is pretty sweaty. I wonder if he brings in Madison. He's got nothing in the bank, though. Maybe not. Maybe he just gets Matoma for Madison. Oh, yeah, who else, uh, who else is doing well? Trippy is 155k. Uh, he captions that. What? He sold me timer from again last game week. Is he getting lucky? Virtual says he's always stood by the resemblance to Trossard. I've had that as well. People say I look like Trossard. All right, let's end that poll. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Trippier sold me timer from again in his FPL team. Looks like David Brooks wild carded. Ben Foster's 1.3 mil. Who's at the bottom? Jordan B Jordan Bayer, 9.3 million. Oh, he's got Kane captain. <laughs> he's Captain Kane. He's definitely made his team and forgotten about it. All the Burnley players are in a mini league together. But yeah, I am bet like they were like, Bayer, Bayer, Jordan, make a teammate, do it. And then he's made it and then like done it on the first day at launch and then forgotten about it. Kane set and forget captain. Gordon is 8 million. I guess a lot of them are better at football than FPR. I suppose that's fair. They've got better things to worry about than fantasy football. They're worrying about real football. Uh, Joe says Saka and Diaby or Martin Elliott and Bowen. I would say Saka and Diaby. I think that one's relatively easy. I prefer the first option there. Saka and Diaby. Uh, it could go either way this week, but I feel like long term that's got to be Saka and Diaby. Jack Milner says he's got Solanke, Haaland, Diaz, Salah, Diaby, Madison, Sun. Should I do Sun and Mubama to Watkins and Chan? Chan to play next game week against Sheffield United. I don't think Sun's a sell though. I, I wouldn't sell Sun. It seems crazy to sell Sun. Like he's killing it. I think he's the second top scorer mid after Salah. I know Watkins is smashing it as well, but like so is Sun. I don't think I'd do that. Personally. I think instead, I would look to bring in Saka for Madison in game week 11. I think that's what a lot of, a lot of people are going to do that aren't getting him now. Because you don't buy him before Newcastle away. So you get him from game week 11. Burnley home. Great fixture. And it's Brentford, Wolves, Luton, Villa, Brighton. So, yeah, if you don't get him now, you can postpone it till game week 12, basically. I think that makes more sense for you. But, you know, if your gut's telling you get Watkins, then by all means. But I feel like Sun's just not a sell. Under any circumstance. Any Spurs leagues? Uh, let's have a look. I don't think so. If there's anything that comes a bit closer to the deadline, then uh, I'll let you guys know. But I don't think so. Mm, nothing at the moment. Oh, Brennan Johnson comes in for Richarlison. Richarlison benched. Basuma comes straight back into the starting 11, replacing Hoiberg. Okay. That's all we've got so far. So Richarlison benched. If you've got Richarlison, it looks like uh, Brennan, John Brennan Johnson starts ahead of him. So sell Richarlison if you've got him. I don't think there's anything else here. Just that Basuma comes back in uh, and Richarlison benched. Brandon Johnson starts. Nothing on a dogie. 
Uh, I'll keep an eye if there's anything on a dogey, but at the moment, nothing. Just that. We may get something a bit closer to the deadline. Like, there's still... Maybe in half an hour we'll get something, but yeah, probably a bit too early right now. We don't get Colwell. If we don't get any news, I think I'd play it safe with Colwell. Like Brentford home, not a bad fixture at all. I know Brentford are doing pretty well. Bumo smashed it last week, but I think I'd play it safe with uh, Colwell if we don't get any news. I'll keep an eye on that though, we might get more before the deadline. I know a lot of you have got a dogey, so if there's any Adogi news then I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, Super Dead Shit says, can we have a captain poll? Let's do a fresh captain poll. Who's your captain for game week 10? Problem is you only get four options, so... Get your votes in on the captain poll. Who is your captain for Game Week 10? The deadline timer is wrong. Is it? No, that's right, isn't it? The deadline's in 40 minutes. Isn't it? Yeah, that's right. 40 minutes till deadline. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was thinking the deadline's at 6 o'clock. It's at half 6. Sorry. So I'm wrong. Yeah, not the timer. Time is right. Ignore, ignore what I said. Yeah, 40 minutes till deadline. So maybe in half an hour, we'll get something uh, regarding the dogi. We might get something sooner. I'll keep refreshing it in the background in case uh, there's anything here. Ah, uh, he says for everyone asking. Unfortunately, I got no news on the dogi. As of yesterday, no left back will, was confirmed. So it's going to be a late fitness test, I'd imagine. I don't know if we'll get better than that. But he's a Spurs in the know. Uh, and that's what he's tweeted here. For everyone asking, unfortunately I've got no news on Adogi. As of yesterday, uh, no left back was confirmed. So it's going to be a late fitness test, he'd imagine, on Adogi. So, use that information as you please. I mean, we still might get something close to the deadline. But, um... That might be all we get. I'll keep an eye on it, though. Uh, I think I answered that one. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Let's uh, play another round of that game. Guesses in the chat. Who's the player? And what season did they hit this score? It was a 24-pointer in one game. Who's the player and what season did they do it? Rishi says Matoma or Diaby. I think Matoma just about edges that one. I'd say Matoma. Slightly better fixtures. Like I think he's got four good fixtures ahead. Diaby's got three. Let's see what review says on that. Oops. While well, you get your guesses in the chat on who's the player and what season did they hit this 24 pointer. I'll give you a clue. They did it in one game. It was a single game week. Right. So over the next five, Mitoma 19.6, DRB 21. Very close. I think Mitoma. Review says DRB slightly ahead. I would say Matoma though. Uh, Suarez, Cho Allen. I think most of you got it. Suarez or Sturridge. The answer was Suarez. He got 24. Do you know who he got it against? I reckon you can guess it. Who did he score 24 points against? Abdul's got it. I think everyone's got it. Yeah, he got it against Norwich. That was in... Game week 14 of the 2013-14 season. He scored four goals and he got an assist. Crazy. Right, Captain Pole. 
Haaland, 18% Watkins, 62% Salah, and 7% other. Interesting. Roll transfer of Bruno to Saka. I would definitely do Bruno to Saka. Oh, where'd the music go? Oh my God, do you know what just happened? I share my Spotify account with my girlfriend and she's just connected to it to play her own music. Do we take it back off her? I'm live. I can't let her have the music. How do I take it back? Like, it's just switched and saying, currently listening on Samsung Galaxy. Hang on. <laughs> She's going to message now and say, Oi. Let me just tell her. I can't even hear it now. Oh, there we go. Unbelievable. And I said we should get one of those shared accounts where you get two logins, but nope. Using the same login. There we go. Anyway. Expected girlfriend stats. Dancers play your music. The music's back. We might be having a battle here during this stream on who gets to play the, the music. We're back. So yeah, if anyone missed it, uh, I made two transfers. I sold uh, Madison and Pedro Porro for, oh, for Simicast and Saka. Those are my two moves. It feels like a bit, a slight upgrade this week, but obviously it has potential to backfire. Like Madison's been playing well, to be fair. Um, Porro's been playing well. Like he looks like he's got a return in him. Annoying not to have caught one because he had a couple of chances when I owned him. But uh, I think those two moves make, make sense long term. Helps me keep pace with the wildcarders. And Simicast has got Luton, uh, game week 11. So that's why I went for him over Gabriel. Uh, Zelda says, is it Dogi to Gabriel worth a minus four? I've got Cash, Cher and Kabore. Oh. The problem is I just have no idea if he starts or not. I, I I'd say probably just about worth a hit because you want to have Gabriel long term anyway, right? Like it's a minus four, but you're going to get that hit repaid long term. It's just very hard to call if the doggy starts or not. We just don't know. Like there was that tweet just now that said it's going to be a late fitness test. We might get another leak before the deadline. If we do, then I'll tell you guys if the doggy starts or not. But I'd, I'd be completely guessing if I said if he starts or not. It's probably worth the hit though, because like Arsenal top of the clean sheet odds this week. 56% chance. And this season, Sheffield United have conceded more headed chances on goal than any team in the league. So that could benefit Gabriel as well. Like there is a chance of an attacking return. So I think I'd reluctantly just about take that hit. But I would wait till last minute if you can. Because there could be a leak that he starts, in which case definitely don't do it. Um, so yeah, best of Dogi replacements for those asking. Simicas, Gabriel. Um, not this week, but Gwe, he obviously has three nice fixtures from Game Week 11. So does Maguire, to be fair. And he's 4.2 mil. Uh, Pal Torres, I think he's 4.6 mil, thereabouts. Right, how many players... Have you got from Team of the Season? As it stands, Team of the Seasons, Vicario, Trippier, Anderson, White, Salah, Son, Bowen, Saka, Watkins, Haaland, and Alvarez. How many players do you have in your team from Team of the Season? Midnight Mule, I'm glad you saw my reply, and I, and I saw your tweet where you said you might be off by the deadline or something, but um, yeah, Neto, the Bournemouth keeper, is injured, so you were going to bench boost, but you've uh, called it off. I can only apologise, by the way, if the rest of your bench smashes it, but like you would have been a, down to three players on the bench boost before the game week had even started, so I, I do think it made sense to hold off on that. There might be another opportunity. Big Man's got five. Uh, Yasha's got four. John says, shout out to Midnight Mule. 
Midnight Mule, he's a great guy. I've met him a few times. When I went to the, um, was it the Manchester FPL meetup? There was like, oh, must have been about 10 of us that ended up in a karaoke booth after. It was a heavy night. A lot of singing, a lot of karaoke. It was a good night. Uh, Oscar's got six, Sammy's got six. How many have I got? I've got one, two, three, just five for me. I've only got five from the team of the season. When we look at it like this, you think, oh, of course these players are like the top scorers. It's so obvious, but like, here we are. Some of us struggle anyway. Did you see that team that's made no transfers? And they're like 250th in the world. This one. That's a bit small. Why has that gone small? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this team, they've not made a single transfer this season. They've captained Salah every game week since game week one. And they've not even changed their bench. They have used the triple captain and they've used the bench boost, so it's not even a dead team. And they're 257th in the world. And they've not made a transfer yet. Just makes you think, like, what the hell? Like, here we are, like, chopping and changing our teams, working out the perfect move. And this team right here has not even touched their team in terms of transfers. Like, they've still got Botman. Like, they've got Lerma and Vinicius on the bench. And they're 257th in the world. Like, they're genuinely in with a shot of winning the whole thing this season. But they better start making transfers. Or maybe not. I mean, <laughs> the start on 11 is great again. Like, maybe they don't need to. I feel like game week 11, when they've got two Arsenal, two Newcastle defenders against one another, like, that could go wrong. But yeah, that's, that's wild. I couldn't believe that when I saw it. That's on my website, by the way, if anyone's interested. FPL.page. There's, uh, there's like loads of widgets on here. Like we've got the fixture ticker. Uh, and there's one down here, like the best set and forget team. By the way, on the fixture ticker, you can sort by uh, like easiest or hardest. So you can go like next eight game weeks. And this is why Bowen is a really good pick because next eight game weeks, West Ham are top. And again, like Taylor, 3.9 mil, perfect enabler. Again, Matoma looking longer term than next five. Or next four next four over the next eight they're third Arsenal are up there so again this is why people are looking at Saka again Martinelli anyone got Raya the only annoying thing with Raya is uh, game week 13 he can't play against Brentford so Ramsdale will come in there <laughs> any early Spurs news uh, all we've had so far is that Richarlison doesn't start, Brandon Johnson starts and Bissouma comes back in for Hoiberg. Uh, if there's anything else then uh, let me check here. Leaks. I, I know the main one you're wondering about is uh, a dogey because obviously we know like Sun and that are going to start. It's just a dogey really. Nothing at the moment on him. But yeah, fpl.page if you wanted to check out my website. Oh, what have I just done? Does that work? No. Tried to put the link in the chat, it didn't work. Wokta says, Vocal, what is your for and against for, for Watkins and Salah captaincy? So I'd say Watkins has got the better fixture. Not by much, but better. Like Luton on the road, really, really poor. But then Salah on penalties. Um, He's a midfielder, so you get an extra point per goal. If they keep a clean sheet against Forrest, then that's a clean sheet point. Double that if he's your captain. It's very close. It is really close. I've got Salah captain myself. They're probably in equally good form. Uh, Gams Carlisle says, can we do a roundup, please, of the injuries? Yeah, I'll do a very quick run through of uh, the pressers. So... The main one from Arsenal was Gabriel Jesus is going to be out for a few weeks uh, with a muscle injury. There's no injury news for Liverpool. Uh, Robertson obviously out long term for a while still. And the same for Brighton. No injuries. Uh, March and Welbeck obviously out, but no fresh injuries from uh, their Europa League game. 
Pochettino says that Reese James is going to be on the bench, so Gusto should start, and and Kunku's really close, so he could be a good one from like game week 16 when their fixtures turn. Bournemouth news was that Neto, the goalkeeper, not the Wolves mid, Neto's uh, out injured until at least after the next international break. And then all we've had from Spurs is that Udogi is fine and available for selection. But he said so is Davies, so it's going to be a late one on who starts in left back between Udogi or Davies or maybe Emerson Royale even. Uh, Blair says, really want a bench boost this week. It feels wasteful, but two free transfers. I've got Armour on in my team. I can do Armour and Madison to sack and Gordon. And then bench boost Ariel Adal and Dina and Bowen. I mean, that's, yeah, that's bench boostable. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's bench boostable. I know generally you use it in a double game week, but I think using it in a single isn't that, isn't that bad. Because what we often do is we save our wildcard till late in the season, right before a double game week, to then use our bench boost straight after the wildcard. So you end up like saving, you end up having to spend a lot of money on your bench after your late wildcard. So I think there's like a hidden benefit there. If you get it out of the way early, then as the season goes on later, you focus on your start and 11 more. You don't have to worry about having a good bench and a double. So with a bench that is. Ariola, Darwin, Dino and Bowen. I think that's bench boostable. I don't hate that at all. Christian's a Harlan seller. Harlan sellers after his haul later. I need to stop sharing that. No worries. That's the that's the news roundup. That's all we've got there. Uh, I've got a predicted lineup from Luke. He normally does get leaks, but in this case he's not had one. So this is a prediction, not a leak. But for those wondering about Man City, that's who he's predicted to start. Uh, he did say Grealish versus Doku. Doku's pretty 50-50. Um, it could be Grealish that starts for more control uh, and then bring on Doku later. But uh, he's predicted Alvarez starts, Foden. Uh, in events, Vardy Old, Diaz, Walker, Rodri Stones. Russell says, will Haaland or Watkins score more points gaming 10 and 11? Template team, but Pedro Eze still in, still in matters to Saka. Eze to a Dwinger or Palmer, sell Haaland game week 12. I think what you do, Russell, Russell, is see how Haaland does over the next two. Like Bournemouth home, game week 11. Bournemouth without Neto in goal as well. I just feel like that's a fixture where he could explode. Like It wouldn't surprise me in a game like that if he gets a hat-trick. So in terms of who does better over the next two, I think it's close. I think they probably do score about the same, is my honest answer. Which is crazy, by the way, given how like six mil separates them. But I would say they probably score the same. I like Madison to Saka. But yeah, it, keep, it does mean you have to hold Eze for another week. And I'd only sell Haaland in game week 12 if he does disappoint over the next two. If he does say like he blanks or only gets like one assist, then I think you can make the case because then they have Chelsea away, Liverpool home, Spurs home, Villa away, and then you could get him back here. I mean, you probably don't want to go about him for those two, but then he blanks in game week 18. We might get a Man City and Brentford double game week 20, by the way. That could be a double game week 20 for uh, Brentford and Man City. Imagine that. Because that would mean City have a double game week of Sheffield United home and Brentford home. I mean, that's got triple captain written all over it. Uh, Mad Dan says, would you have Trippi and Bowen or Son and Burn? Personally, I'd have Son and Burn. It's really close. I've had this question today on Discord and it's very close, but I think I'd have Son over Trippier. But obviously, as long as you've got an okay rest of your defenders, if that makes sense, to rotate them for burn. Like maybe you're on the bench burn here, right? Maybe for the Chelsea Man United. But I think Arsenal's the main one. Jeffrey says, Hi Oscar, Haaland or Salah captain? Well, I've got both and I'm on Salah captain. So that's my opinion on that one. Game week 11, I'm definitely going to be captain in Haaland. But this week it's Salah. I've actually got Watkins Vice, so Haaland's not even a Vice this week for me. Uh, 
Sean, thanks for the 30 months. He says, happy FPL Friday, y'all. Hope all your arrows are green. Thanks for that, Sean. Thanks for the 13 months and the gifted memberships earlier. Appreciate that. Flandy says, poll idea. Have you sold Haaland? All right, let's do that. I imagine most will be voting no, but I'll be interested to know. What was it again? Oh, that's transferred in. Transferred out. 355,000 have sold him this week. I mean, what's his ownership now? It was like 94, wasn't it? And now it's 84. So I guess a million have sold him over the last like four or five weeks. What did Windows say? <laughs> You've already taken a hit. Is it worth another hit to sell a doggy? I wouldn't take a minus eight to sell a doggy, no. John says, hi Oscar, world number one's got no Haaland. Fair play. I mean, that makes sense. That was something I said back in game week, was it game week eight? I said, I wouldn't be surprised if whoever wins FPL this season goes no Haaland. Because you, you often have to go against the pack and it comes off. He's smashing it, actually. He's used his wildcard game week seven. And that's the only chip. So he's got Alvarez, Watkins, Solanke, Salabo. Oh, he smashed it last week. 115. Oh, he had a doge as well. Could have been more. Dalo Trippier, a doge. Who's winning the Focal League? Haven't looked at that for a while. Where is it? There. Moimba is 16th in the world. If anyone wants to join uh, the Focal League, the link's in the description and the code. Your points start from Gamic 1, so if you're not in it, then um, make sure you join it. Russell says, Madison to Saka and Adingra or Palmer with Pedro. Yeah, Adingra or Palmer is really close. Like, they're both 5 mil. Palmer, we know he's on penalties. He's good for minutes at the moment, but he's got the poorer fixtures, basically. Like, there could be a game in the next few weeks that Palmer doesn't start. So, really, it depends on your risk appetite. Russell. I think Edinger is the more exciting pick. Like Brighton have got nice fixtures. Their next four. Let's go back to where we are. Was it game week 10? There. Yeah. So they've got Fulham, Everton, Sheffield United, Forest. <clears throat> That's like a good run of fixtures. Whereas Chelsea, you've got Brentford, Tottenham, City, Newcastle. So if it's someone that you're going to have to start, I would say Edinger. He got an assist last night in Europa League as well. Deserby said in his press conference that he's going to have to play a more important role because of March's injury. But yeah, I don't mind Madison to Saka at all. I understand you've got Pedro as well. Um, but I think Adingra, I prefer. But I like a little punt like that. I think, um, I think Palmer's the one that he's like the... The safer pick, you're like, you know he's going to start every game, but he's got poor fixtures. So I feel like a Dinger is a fun pick. Paulin says, I never, never knew you had a face reveal. Yeah, only in my streams. Like, I don't I don't bother with uh, sharing myself in my videos. Like, to be fair, I want my videos to be about the content like rather than me. I know it can be more engaging like, if someone's on camera, but I think perhaps the content itself can be more engaging if I am not in the video. And I like to do animations and stuff to make it a bit more entertaining and interesting to watch. And also I don't have to make myself look presentable when I do my voiceover. Like I roll out of bed looking like shit and then I just hit record. Manprit says, which combination should I go over my wildcard? Bowen, pa Bowen and Palmer or Diaby and Gordon? Or Mitoma and Gordon? I think option, it's very close, option two or three, not option one. It's option two or three. I think Mitoma and Gordon, I would say. Yeah, I'd say uh, option three. Super close though, between 
Matoma and Diaby. I mean, let's do a poll on that. So, 77% aren't selling Haaland. Let's do a poll on Matoma or, or uh, sorry, Matoma or Diaby. Who's the better one to have on a wild card? What's the headline? Did I miss anything focal? Uh, not really. Gusto should start for Chelsea. James won't start, so it'll be Gusto. Um, Richarlison doesn't start for Tottenham tonight. Basuma comes straight back into the start in 11 for Tottenham um, in place of Hoiberg. Let me check if there's anything else for Tottenham that's come through. We've got like just on just over 50 minutes till deadline, so we might get a last minute league. But the guy who has the Tottenham news that's that we've uh, heard about so far said he's not had anything on the dogi. But I'll keep an eye out, like we might get something last minute. Pat says start Pedro Porro or Dern, also start in Madison and Son. I feel like you have to start Pedro Porro just because he's so much more attacking. I'm not, I mean, what the clean sheet odds are probably close as well, I would guess. Let me check. Tottenham, 34%. Newcastle, 36%. Yeah, 2% separates them, but Porro is way more attacking. I would start Pedro Porro myself. Like, he's a really attacking player, whereas Burns not. Sean says, Am I a madman for holding Bruno and Rashford? I think that's a bit bold. It is bold. Like I know after game week ten they've got a nice run of games against Man United, but they just they just look so off it so far this season. They're not looking like the team they were last season, where Bruno and Rash were quality assets last season. So I think that's a bit bold, especially before play before they play Man City. Man City. So 59% say Matoma. 41% say Diaby. I've got a fresh poll. We're going to do back-to-back -back polls. The poll is... Are you buying Saka? In fact, we'll have a third option. Already own him. Because Saka seems to be flavour of the week. Like If you saw the experts video, 48% were picking him up. Brandon says, thanks for the videos, dude. No problem. Thanks for watching them. Appreciate you all watching the videos every week. I tweeted about this earlier in the week. I said, um, has anyone ever got imposter syndrome? Because I still can't believe that I make videos and do these live streams and people watch them and tune in. Because I just think, like, why me? Like, until two years ago, I'd never made a video. I never even used Photoshop. So sometimes I think, like, how the hell have I got here where I am now? So, uh, yeah, it's thanks to you guys. So thanks for watching the videos and tuning into the streams. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thanks for that. We're all imposters, Focal. There's a poster among us. Uh, right, I think I'm... Oh, what did uh, Fizzer say here? Madison and KWP? Who's KWP? Walker Peters? Do you mean JWP? Ward Prowse? Madison and Ward Prowse to Saka and Palmer is the only route to Saka. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would do that. Yeah, I would do that. Not for a minus four. I'd do it for free. Not for a minus four. Kevin Ward Prowse. Kent Alexander Parnold. Start Ariola or Sanchez. Uh, well, let me check the clean sheet odds. I tend to just favour clean sheet odds with the goalkeeper decisions. Uh, Chelsea thirty nine and half percent chance. West Ham twenty nine. So Sanchez.
You're a great content creator and an even better person. You've inspired us to start a new channel. Keep up the great work. Yeah, I saw your channel actually. Yeah, keep it up. You never know where it'll take you. I, I was streaming to two people for weeks or months. And then like one day it just all came together and started picking up. And that was before rank one, by the way. I got to something like 20,000 subscribers and then rank one happened and it kind of just all accelerated. I mean, it definitely helps to be rank one in the world. Burn to Simicast for one free transfer. I don't think that's worth using it. I would roll the transfer on that one. Take two into game week 11 and then make a call on that, on a transfer there or not. I feel like it's a very minor upgrade for the sake of a transfer. Yeah, Martinelli's fine if you can't get to Saka, but we were looking at their stats earlier. And this season, this is uh, from Scout, by the way. If anyone wants to become a Scout member, link in the description. But comparing the underlying numbers, I mean, oh, I'm blocking it. Uh, Saka's got 6.69 expected goal involvement, Martinelli 1.53. So this season, Saka's just superior with his underlying numbers. So. Martinelli's fine, but yeah, Saka's the one to have. I think Martinelli's all right, though. CFJW says, Dinia, Dunk, and a 5 million defender plus Palmer or Maguire and Gordon on a wild card. So Dinia, Dunk, 5 million defender and Palmer or Maguire and Gordon. I prefer Gordon, honestly. Yeah, he's playing really well at the moment. Wolves is not a bad fixture. I feel like he's, right now, he looks like he can score against anyone. Like he was electric in the Champions League. I think he hit the bar again. Like he hit the bar last game week as well. Should have had two goals. I just feel like Gordon offers a lot more than Palmer, given Chelsea's fixtures as well. So I would go for option two there. Yeah. Gordon or Matoma on a wild card. Between the two, it has to be Matoma. Pradiot says Saka blanks for sure. Blas for me. Surely not. So are you buying Saka? 40% yes, 40% no, 20% already own him. Pretty even split. Alright, we've got 10 minutes till deadline. Uh, let me quickly tweet my team before I forget. If you're not following me on Instagram or X, I guess it's called now, uh, at FPL Focal. Game week 10, so Madison, Saka, Salah, Saka, Poro, Simicas. What did you do? What rank are you guys? Let me know in chat. What's your overall rank right now? How's your season going? And be honest. Uh, Maya doesn't sack a pride. Yeah, done. Apenator's 20k. Eric's 500k. Bella is 890k. Vladdy better than you. 111k, 3 mil. 300k. 50k, that's very impressive this early. EMR's 50k as well. Top 30. Top 30 overall or top 30k? If you're top 30 in the world, that's damn impressive. Like, you need to join our mini league right now and bump us up. We were the top mini league at one point, but I think we've fallen off. Now, I tried to find you in the top 30, but you're not there. Top 30k then. Rank 1. Yeah, right. If you're rank 1, let's do a video together. I'd like, to, I'd like to get a rank 1 on the channel at some point. I try, I tried to do it a couple times a season. Because it's always good to hear, um, you know, what the rank 1's thinking is, how they got to where they are. But you don't want to do it too early. Because at the start of the season, you know, people have used up every chip and they're rank 1. Oh, sorry, Peachtree. Two secs. Start Van de Ven or a Dingra. I think you have to start a Dingra, right? Chase the upside. Like Palace away is not an easy fixture. I think I would chase the upside with a Dingra there. Uh, and Connor says, Mr. Bean, a doge to Gabriel for a minus four, big up focal. Oh, 
This one's really hard. I just, we, I basically have no idea if he starts or not. I'll see if we get a lead. Let me just check if there's anything. Basically, long term, Gabriel should absolutely repay that hit. But we just have no idea, like, if he's going to... It depends who you've got instead. Like, if you've got a good defender you can start in head of, uh, instead of him, then that's fine. If you don't, I would probably take the hit, yeah. I don't like minus fours with defenders, but Gabriel's one who, like, absolutely should repay that off long term. Gusto or a dogey? I would say Gusto. The problem is we just don't know like on a dogey. It's going to be a last minute fitness test. That's all we know. Like We've had a couple of leaks, which is that Richarlison doesn't start. Basuma comes back into the 11, but we've had nothing on a dogey. I mean, we've got like five minutes, so I'll keep refreshing in case there's anything here. But I'm not sure if we tend to get Spurs leaks, to be honest. Will Soufal be playing? Yeah, Soufal should start. I think Cresswell probably comes in a left back because Emerson's suspended. Wow, Annex 5.7k overall already. Fair play. Rank 69. Fair play. Odegaard or Salah captain? I would say Salah. Let's do one final closing captain poll. Who's your captain for game week 10 get your votes on the poll it's one of those weeks by the way where go with your gut because there's so many good options like if we look at the projected points for this week it's like dead even there's so many great options here like we've got Salah Saka expected to do well or projected to do well Watkins Martinelli Harland, Harland uh, Son I've seen some people are on Trippier. There was someone earlier on Cash Captain. Saka Captain is. Yeah, I mean, Saka's great for a captaincy as well. But you only get four options when you do a poll. That's the problem. Like, I can only do those four. But get your votes in. Let's see how the poll looks. I mean, Salah's well out in front at the moment. 60%. Five minutes till deadline. Final reminder to make sure your captain is on the right player, your bench in the right order, your transfers locked in. So if anyone missed it, yeah, I've made two transfers. I did Madison to Saka and Pedro Porro to Simicas. No Udogi leaks. All we've had is that Brennan Johnson starts in place of Richarlison and Basuma comes back into the 11 in place of Hoiberg after serving his suspension. You know what the stupidest thing is? Because he got the red card, it means he's now on four yellow cards still. So if he gets a yellow, then that's another match suspension. Because he got two yellows for the red. Poro, I absolutely expect to start. Powden says, is it necessary to have a good defender as a sub in the team? I think so, because there's so many good cheap defenders that it's not that hard to have a good one first on bench. And then, like in my case, I've got Botman. Obviously, he's injured at the moment, but it's not hard to have a 4.5 mil defender here. And then you could have a cheap one like 4 mil. Like Taylor's 3.9 mil. He's a good one to just sit last on your bench. Flandy says, join the Discord. If anyone's not in the Discord, I'll chuck the link in chat. There's loads of useful channels there. We've got over 13,000 managers. So that's the link if you want to join the Discord. It's going to be chaos tonight. If uh, Idogi starts, or I suppose if he's benched as well, or if Madison delivers, Sa uh, Sun delivers. A lot of people have sold Madison this week. Still nothing on Idogi. I feel like we're not going to get anything before the deadline. Maguire captain. Right, captain poll results. 61% Salah, 22% Watkins, 9% Haaland, and 8% other. Is that Douglas Louise or Walker? Douglas Louise. Virtual says Madison's going to punish the sellers. Pradyot says all the best guys. Rami's on Sun Captain. Start Vardio or Bruno? I'd go Bruno. 
Start Anderson or Burn? Uh, burn. Gam says, like the stream, guys. Yeah, it's been ages since I've asked. Uh, if you have enjoyed this stream, hit like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do these streams every deadline and I make FPL videos throughout the week as well to help you uh, improve your team, improve your rank, win your mini leagues and all those good things. So uh, make sure you subscribe for that. Bat says, bench boost opt optional this week. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a good bench for it, then uh, absolutely. What's this link? I don't know who that user is, Flandy. It's, it's two minutes till deadline. It could be a troll. X Growth Guide is their username, and they said Kadogi doesn't start, but that could be nonsense. I, I wouldn't. It's up to you what you do with that, guys. It's one minute till deadline, and they said Kadogi doesn't start, but that could be a troll, so I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. Why would they know? I've never heard of them. It could be right. But yeah, sorry guys, nothing reliable on a dogie. Nothing reliable on a dogie. Adam's got Poro, Madison and Sun, let's go. How many players have you guys got in tonight's game? Just the one for me now, after selling Madison and Poro, so um, I might be watching this one from behind the sofa. Hopefully we get like... From my perspective, Brennan Johnson assists, Sun goal. <laughs> and that's it. Big man's got one playing tonight. You got five playing tonight? Surely not. Flanny's got two tonight. Fifteen. Crown's got two playing tonight. True. I did say about that, that about Gabriel. But I didn't know where it came from, Gemi One. That's the difference. Like it came from Andy, it turns out, but when it when it reached my stream minutes before the deadline, it was just like chaos that people were saying it last minute. I've never heard of this person. I've heard of Andy, and he's reliable. You know what I mean? Mitchie sold Sun and Madison. Bold. Best of luck, though. I'm assuming you bought someone like Saka. So yeah, good luck in the Arsenal game. Right, I'm not going to stick around because I have to shoot. I have to go pick up my dog Teddy. Enjoy the game. I'll see you on the Discord after. So if you're not a member, link below for that. Make sure you subscribe before we go. Like the stream if you've enjoyed it. And uh, enjoy the weekend, everyone. Focal out.